Hello everyone and welcome. This is Solid State SR71. It's been a little while. I've been a little sick. Um, so pardon me for not being around. Uh, I wanted to make this video because I was looking everywhere for a video of this before I bought this game. Uh, this is Lego Harry Potter. Um, years 5 through 7 on the PlayStation Vita and I wanted to launch it. Um, I wanted to show the launching process to make sure that people realize that this is actually the Vita version because you'll see in a little bit that uh, it can be easily mistaken for another version. Um, this, uh, I'm going to play the first level through, but I'm going to be talking about, I'm going to be doing sort of a review here, hopefully, um, and sort of shedding some impressions and um, warning you guys before you buy it because um, originally I had heard a couple of whisperings on the internet that the Vita version would be a uh, rehash of the, or would be based off of the PSP version of the same game. And I wasn't sure if that was true, I wasn't sure what was going on, and I couldn't find gameplay on uh, GameSpot, IGN, game trailers, uh, I checked on YouTube everywhere for gameplay of this game, and I couldn't find it, so I'm doing you guys a service here. And showing you guys some gameplay so that uh, if you guys are curious customers like myself, thinking about dropping 40 bucks down on this game, you realize that you should definitely not do that. Um, this game is 100% based off the PSP game, and until you really play it, you don't really see how much it's based off of the PSP game. Um, this game is just lazy. This game is just Warner Brothers being completely lazy with the Vita period, and uh, this is kind of a disgusting launch title. It's not really a launch title, it's a late launch title. Um, it's kind of, it's just a, it's, oh god. I am so sorry. I don't know why my alarm's going off. I'm, um, okay, no, I'm not gonna turn that off. Sorry about that. Um, that's embarrassing. I don't really want to cut that, because, uh, I'm lazy. Uh, and I don't have time to edit right now, because I have to go to bed. So that I don't get sick again. Moving right along, so let's get back to the review. Um, the reason why I say all these crazy claims about Warner Brothers being crazy lazy is because this is 100% the PSP game. Uh, from the sound to the level design, they cut out the same portions that uh, the PSP version already cut out from the PS3 version. Um, the sounds are exactly the same. All the pick up sounds of all the little, um, oh, what do they call them? Sorry, I don't remember the name, the, the bits, the, um, the little Lego currency. Uh, I can't remember the name, sorry. Um, anyways, the sound that, that those are picked up, uh, make the exact same noise as the PSP, so it's like a crappy stereo, really low bit sound, um, that kind of sounds like it might have been good at some point, but it's not anymore. With the uh, sort of sounds that the Vita can make uh, and the and the audio fidelity that the Vita can push out, uh, this game just poops all over it. Um, <laughs> and then on top of that, they didn't even go through uh, a process of like, okay, so hey... We have this new system, let's stick the cinematics on the system screen properly. Uh, no. So this game pretty much takes the PSP uh, cinematics and up them, not even up them. Just kind of sticks them as is, just makes, it, makes them so that they will play on the Vita screen. So this game essentially is pretty much the PSP version, but it's not running in an emulator. That's the only difference I can think of. Other than the fact that this game does have trophies, that will be at the end of the video. I'm going to put all the screenshots of all the trophies. There's like five of them, uh, like five pages worth, I guess. I don't know, it probably wasn't the smartest way to do it, but I did it anyway. Um, other than the trophies, there's really, like, this is copy and paste the PSP version. And I'm very angry because I think that they could have totally, sorry if i breathing all weird, my nose is blocked, and, um, anyway, I'm gonna stop worrying about the way that I sound. Um, it's just kind of like, I, I know that they could have taken the PS3 version and downscaled it, and it would have made a lot more sense, and it would have looked a lot better, 
and been more of a, a, a technical showcase than taking the stupid PSP version and up the PSP version to the PS Vita standards. Uh, it makes no sense. I don't know why they did it. Warner Brothers, what were you thinking? Why Why did you do this? Why would you rehash this project? project product? Why would you rehash this product, put it back out uh, at 40 freaking dollars, and not even really give a discount for buying it online? So not only did I pay, you know, $40, but I had to download it as well at 1.2 gigabytes. Anyways, I'm gonna stop complaining. This game's garbage. Um, I guess if you liked it on the PSP and you liked the way that the PSP games played, then yippee for you, I guess. Uh, I'm not very happy, but that's me. I had higher expectations. I had way high expectations, and there was no videos on the internet to tell me otherwise. Um, so, here's a warning to you guys. This is the PSP version. Don't don't buy it, unless, I mean, just just don't buy it, because what they're going to do is they're going to take the next version, and then they're going to put it on the PSP to sucker all the people out there that were too poor to afford Vitas, um, and they're going to make them buy it, and then they're going to say, oh, hey, what we're going to do is we're going to take that stupid PSP version, and we're going to up it for Vita users and charge them more for it, because it has trophies and whatever else it has. Um, yeah, that's, that's what's gonna happen in the future if we don't put our foots down, foots down, our feet down, and, and say something about this now, so, here I am, trying to make a valiant stand to show you guys that this is not, this is not cool, this is not good by me, this is not good, period. Um, and on top of that, the second analog stick, uh, in case you guys are wondering, the second analog stick actually just chooses the spells, uh, which you could also do with the right button, and it works a lot better because it cycles through them one at a time, whereas the uh, right thumb stick is directional. Like, if you put it to the top, it'll go to the whatever spells in the top, but they're all kind of slightly offset. Anyways, that's that. The touchscreen will also launch spells. It's not very accurate. Uh, the buttons are definitely the way to go here. And there is hints of some rear touch functionality, but I haven't gotten that far yet. Uh, because I felt like I had to put out a video before before too many people pick this game up and then get as frustrated as me with this thing. So uh, be warned. You guys have been warned. Thank you guys for watching. As always, uh, if you guys want some more Vita footage, I'm planning to make more. I wouldn't say that I feel great, but I feel decent. <laughs> I'm going to try and put up some more videos this weekend, and I'm going to try and reply to your comments and subscriptions, and thanks to everybody that has been subscribing and commenting and doing all that good stuff while I've been half dead, hacking up both my lungs. Um, uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, and make sure you leave a comment down below. Uh, let me know if you bought this thing, and if you want to kill yourself also. Uh, like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, uh, although that'd be mean because you'd be disliking it just because uh, I'm sick, that's that's why, uh, and that's not very nice, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't uh, for more videos like this one, uh, I guess I'm still probably rolling pictures, no I'm probably not, alright take it easy guys, see ya.